Hi guys, how are you? I am doing good. I hope you guys' Christmas was good. I know mine was. Um, now that Christmas is over, and I don't have to work on um, Christmas gifts or decorations, I'm starting to get back into the swing of things and do other projects. Um, so this I got as a gift from my parents. This is one of my gifts. Um, it's like a basket, a bus, uh, a bucket. I don't know what it is. It's just it's a metal tin. Let me show you the back. It's a metal tin, and it came like this, covered in burlap, and then it has this piece right here. Um, which is chalkboard paint on the top. So I don't know if it's for like your kitchen, and you can. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um. But my mom knows I love to alter things, and she knows that um, we just bought this house, oh, uh, let me see, maybe seven months ago, and I'm finally getting my own craft room, and so um, I'm trying to get that set up, and so um, I decided to uh, decorate this up a little bit, and it just so happens to hold, um, I could probably fit more, but I only have four of these pearl trim cards. And these I got off of Saw's D stash. So there's 25 yards in each one. This one I've already torn into and and used. So, but that's what this is going to be for. So hold that. Um, I'm hoping Saw has more of these in a D stash because I would love to pick up some more just to stock up. So um, let me show you what I did. Okay. So. This, like I said, this is already covered with burlap. I just added some um, pink pearl flourishes um, and a pink um, butterfly. And then I added up a little heart for the body and a white doily and this humongous uh, flower that is laying in the center. Really, really pretty. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then for the top, I, um, some of the chalkboard paint kind of scratched off, and I have a huge can of chalkboard paint, but um, I didn't apply any. I might go back and do it. I just kind of left it as is because this kind of is covering it up anyhow, so. I just put, um, I made a bow um, out of seam binding and um, I put a black paper clip right here that's holding this and I just put a pearl bow, let's see if I can get you closer, there you go, a pearl bow flat back right here and then some of that pearl trim um, right here and then a pink paper flower and some of that pearl trim right here and right here. And that's what I did to that. And this is just, um, I fussy cut this out of, um, let me see, I think it's a uh, Prima paper pad, I'm not sure. It's just pink, it says notes, and it's um, antiqued and faded and distressed. Um, I love the whole, um, I guess, rustic shabby chic. So I'm, I'm obsessed with burlap and um, chocolate brown and teal, hence my mug. But um, yeah, I just thought this was perfect to hold these um, these pearl trim cards. And I, like I said, I get I got four of them in there right now, and I could probably fit a couple more um, once this is all gone, or if I decide to do something else with this um, bucket, then you know there will be plenty of room for other things. Um, these are this is really nice. It's oval shaped, so. But yeah, this is my first project after Christmas, and I just love how it turned out. I love the pink, I love the, the butterfly, I love the bling and the flower, the doily. I just love the whole shabby chic with a rustic flair. That's me. I love that. So, yeah. Let's see if I can get it closer so you can see the butterfly. The butterfly is so pretty. It's glittered. And like I said, I added this bling piece right here for the body, a heart gem, and then this pink pearl 
flourish. So that's my project, my first after Christmas project. So thanks for watching, guys.